Hello and welcome to Look East. In the programme tonight, the pioneering research bringing new hope to thousands of parents of children with conditions which are difficult to diagnose. Hi, I'm Catherine Nash. BT Openreach has apologised to customers in the region after hundreds of complaints about poor service. Some firms like this one in Norfolk have waited months for a phone line connection. Details at 10.25. Two more years at Ipswich Town. Manager Mick McCarthy's extended his contract today until 2018. But that's not strictly true of Clacton. Only 4% of people in Clacton weren't born in the UK. So how does the immigration strategy work there? We say improvements have been made, but there's still a lot of problems at Colchester, aren't there? £14 million in deficit. It's got a high turnover of staff and it's having a string of poor CQC reports. But clearly, the plan of action that you've had in place isn't working. 25,000 students in Suffolk are going to schools that are simply below standards. Aren't you just focusing on people's insecurities, focusing on the things that they don't want rather than the things that they do want? Well, how long is that expected to take? You've had two years to up your game and still schools aren't reaching the bar. That's an important thing, actually making sure people can have a productive journey. But it's all good and well having sparkly new trains with, with Wi-Fi throughout, but if they can't run Absolutely. on time, yes. that's a fundamental so point to reliability, make. punctuality. Another of the region's top technology companies is to fall into foreign hands. CSR, formerly Cambridge Silicon Radio, has agreed to a takeover by the giant American company Qualcomm. It's revived the old debate as to why so few local companies make it into the big league. The co-founder of CSR says he's disappointed the group has sold out. Our business correspondent Richard Bond is here now. Yes, Catherine, I mean, CSR is one of the top five technology groups in Cambridge. Good evening, I'm Catherine Nash. We start tonight with further criticism over poor standards of education in Suffolk three years after concerns were first raised. The council says it's making improvements, but according to Ofsted, not fast enough. In 2012, the County Council launched its Raising the Bar programme aimed at driving up standards. It followed concerns schools in the county were below the national average. A year later, Ofsted says standards remained unacceptable. Then again, in 2014, they said there was no significant improvements in pupils' attainments. And today, the latest report outlined when it came to disadvantaged children in some parts of the county, the authority was the worst in the region. A thousand cannabis plants have been seized from the site. Seven people have been arrested. Catherine Nash has the details. She's in our newsroom now. What more do we know, Catherine? Well, Susie, it all started on Sunday night when police were called to Gibbet Site Pig Farm in Bradenham, which is not far from Deerham, at around 20 to 9. It followed reports that someone was injured at the site and that suspected illegal activity was going on there. Incredible yeah. to think that it's, it's being translated 25 languages, I think. I think it's about 25 now, yeah. And just bringing it back to the festival that, that's been on this week and obviously the headline event is on tonight. Why is it so important to have these types of events? Well, it really helps writers. So it's a, it's a quite a lonely process. You're in a room with your, maybe with your computer or your notebook for hours at a time. The East Anglian Air Ambulance says its new base will allow crews to respond faster to emergency calls. The charity now has its own building at Cambridge Airport and a dedicated helicopter pad right outside. It's been in the building for nearly a month. Good evening, I'm Catherine Nash. First tonight, the Rail Minister has told Look East that the company that takes over the new franchise on the Norwich to London line will be held accountable for its performance. Claire Perry made the comments on the day a rail summit was held in Ipswich. These are the three companies hoping to run the contract from next October. In a moment, we'll hear from the Rail Minister, but first this from our political correspondent, Andrew Sinclair. You have to think about what you're going to put together. The BBC Young Filmmakers Festival takes place on the big screens in Fusion here in the Forum in Norwich. It starts tonight and it ends on Saturday the 3rd of August. Catherine Nash, BBC Look East, Norwich. Well that's all from the lunchtime team but we're back this evening with Look East BBC One at 6.30. Do join us then. Bye bye. <laughs>